Coach, the team has scored 6.6 .6 runs per game in the last seven outings. Besides some amazing performances from Tatiana Cortez and Annie Murphy, who else has contributed to the lineup surge? Yeah, those two definitely have had a huge impact. Um, they, I feel like they just keep getting up in key situations and they keep coming through. So um, they, they had a little bit of ups and downs in the beginning of the year, but I think they've they've really um, hit that mark where they feel comfortable in the box. Um, but I think there's a lot of people in the lineup that are stepping up and um, making little things happen here and there, whether it's putting down a bunt and making the defense uh, make a tough play on it. Um, that's always a challenge. But I think the big thing with hitting is we spend a whole lot of time on it each practice. Um, I think the last week or so, We've easily been hitting for an hour and a half to two hours every day. So um, just getting reps in, um, seeing different spins, different speeds, using machines, going live, um, and, and really um, driving home the fact that we're going to go hard after every pitch we take a hack at, um, I think that's definitely helped us. Despite the bye week, the team was active with practice and live game prep starting in the middle of last week. Does anything change about how you prepare now that a series with Pitt is coming up? Uh, not much has changed, to be honest. Um, I think the bye week came at a, a great time coming off a of spring break. We were on the road for, I think it was 12 days straight. So um, we gave them a couple days off, and then we were back at it. But um, we kind of want to worry about ourselves and, and what we need to improve on and, and what we do well. So um, we're obviously preparing for Pitt, um, but it, it doesn't really change the way we do anything. Um, you know, if we were preparing for midweek games um, or a preseason tournament, um, we're going to give them a little bit of information on uh, what Pitt has. But again, mostly focus on, on what we do and what we need to do to beat them. Lastly, BC and Pitt are two of the best defensive teams in the ACC, both ranking in the top 40 in the nation. What are some of the keys to limiting those errors, especially in the early portion of the season when some of the players might be a little bit more mistake prone? Yeah, I think we're big with fundamentals. Um, we, we take a lot of reps. So um, I know some teams maybe just hop into live situations, but um, before we throw runners on base or go into live scrimmages, um, we, we spend a decent chunk of practice just getting reps in um, off of regular ground balls and every days and then live off the bat. So um, I think once you have fundamentals and, and we go at a quick pace in practice too, once they get to a game, um, it's kind of like, okay, I've got this one ground ball or this one fly ball. Um, this, is, this is easy.